chewing. We eat like ducks. We've learned to simply utilize food as energy versus really savoring and deriving the nutrients of the food. How do we do that? But a lot of it. One of the quotes that I love was by Bragg, the man who created Bragg's apple cider vinegar. He would share to chew your liquids and to drink your solids. So what does that mean? Liquids are smoothies and juices to chew them. I remember when I worked in a health food store many, many years ago, people would get a whole smoothie with two bananas, coconut milk, or not two bananas, it's a lot. One and a half bananas, it was still a lot. Blueberries, acai, protein, powder and I'd watch them finish the whole thing as they were out the door. So think about if you had those foods as whole foods, would you be able to completely eat them with chewing within three minutes? No, there would be an adequate slow digestive process. When we chew, chew a lot, it leads to more enzyme production in the mouth to break down carbohydrates. It leads to more enzyme production in the stomach with things such as pepsin to help break down protein stomach acid to kill off any naughty bugs and to break down food and it supports our small intestines which is where a lot of protein and fats are absorbed for enzymes to come in from the pancreas as well so if we don't eat our food slowly and chew our liquids and drink our solids that can lead to a lot of bloating mental you have mental illness are you chewing if we're not chewing effectively it can lead to deficiencies in b12 and iron you know people go oh i got b12 iron deficiency are you chewing enough because stomach acid comes from appropriate chewing and for us to best absorb b12 and iron that occurs in the stomach now you would have noticed i said drink your solids that means if you're eating a salad if you're eating a steak if you're eating vegetables that you're chewing them enough for them to essentially be able for you to drink at the end.